Hi, my name is Jeanette Anakini, Jin for short. I'm the founder and creator of the Raw Reset and the Healing Junction. I've offered regenerative detoxification and iridology out of my Toronto clinic, as well as virtually online since my certification in 2015. I like to show up as a special guest in different health food stores within the greater Toronto area. And today I'm at Healthy Planet, their Mississauga Central location. I'm so grateful to be connecting with more of you from the holistic community. And I'm really happy that you're here with me today. Today's video is on something they call red skin syndrome. Now this is a medical term. For those of you who follow my work, you'll know that I don't believe in diseases. There's no such thing. There's only states of dis-ease where the body is just not at ease. So remember, we're using their word for a set of symptoms essentially. For example, Hashimoto's disease. This is a compromise condition of the thyroid and this was discovered by a doctor whose last name was Hashimoto. So this is just a name that they give to a certain set of symptoms. It is my hope to get the information about the great lymphatic system out to the masses and to share about how the lymphatic system and kidneys are truly the most important aspects to self-healing. So this red skin syndrome arises as severe itching, redness, and dry inflamed skin. Often large chunks of skin are flaking off as a safety mechanism by the body. But this is obviously causes the individual much suffering, you know, a loss in quality of life. Of course, it would make one feel very self-conscious. If you follow the action steps that I provide in this video, you will surely experience these symptoms as a distant memory before you know it. The Alka bath salts are the very first action step that my members have reported huge relief from using and they have them here at Healthy Planet. If you're familiar with my work, you'll know that I'm really big into these salts that were formulated by a healer in Germany, my original teacher, Dr. Peter Jenshura. Find the link in the description box below to learn more about these amazing crystal alkaline salts. The main focus needs to be on the lymphatic system and to ensure that the kidneys are properly filtering all the wastes. For more information on how to move your lymph system, check out my previous series entitled How to Move Your Lymph. The link is in the description box below. The kidneys are truly the king of elimination. And when we see any inflammation of the skin, such as eczema or psoriasis or this red skin syndrome, you are experiencing acidosis. The body is not effectively eliminating waste due to the kidneys and possibly the colon and perhaps even a lack of proper sweating. Therefore, it's sending huge amounts of acids out via the skin, the largest organ of elimination, often referred to as the third kidney for this reason. In my private group, you'll find files available to you, complimentary, and one of them is called kidney filtration. This document will be important for you to determine that your kidneys are properly filtering wastes, such as acids and toxins. The link is in the description box below if you'd like to join us there. There are specific herbal protocols I use with my members. Book a one-to-one -one consultation for more personalized recommendations. See my link in the description box below to book a consultation. For now, I would do a really good kidney tea like the 7x7 Alka Herb Tea by Dr. Peter Jinshura, also sold here at Healthy Planet or healthyplanetcanada.com. I've also included the link below for more information about this alkaline herbal tea. It's recommended to be drank morning and night along with your herbal tinctures to really help as a transport system of acids and toxins out of the body via the kidneys. There are specific things you're going to want to avoid such as salty junk food, highly processed food, any packaged foods, sweets that are not natural. You can actually do raw honey, you could do maple syrup, perfectly safe and desirable. Even coconut sugar and dates would be great. Just avoiding some of those really highly processed sugars. Coffee is another thing to abstain from for sure. You're going to want to replace the caffeine 
with matcha green tea i wouldn't ever just go cold turkey off coffee you know even the cacao guide uh, and recipe that i offer as a complimentary download on my instagram if you're not already following me on instagram check out the link below and the link is in my bio and my profile for the cacao medicine guide these are going to really support you because often we have people who they go cold turkey off coffee, but then they just end up right back on it because of all the withdrawal symptoms and not being able to actually, uh, you know, supplement it with something else. It's gonna give them a bit of that energy in terms of like a bit of stimulation uh, that they're used to without having to go back on the coffee itself. You're going to want to abstain from alcohol as well. Both coffee and alcohol are highly acidifying. You're going to want to consider where all the acids are coming from on a daily basis without overthinking it though, because stress is one of the biggest acidifiers we're faced with today. A lot of us have accumulated acids and toxins over the years and the body actually creates its own acids, especially when there's negative emotions, negative thoughts and a lack of rest and time for proper contemplation of life, which lead to alkaline reactions. So we do our best to control where the acids are coming in from the diet and also through our thoughts and emotions. Staining from dairy apart from butter and cream, avoiding all household chemicals, using household cleaners, fragrances, any perfumes, anything very toxic is actually going to turn into an acid in the body. Acids are hot, inflammatory, corrosive, and it's no wonder that the skin is in the state that it is if the skin is the third kidney another eliminative organ they're burning they're corrosive on their way out any acids or toxins need to be neutralized and eliminated by the body the body is intelligent it'll always do whatever it can to obtain an optimal state of health all poor health symptoms are actually pointing us in the direction of healing and doing what is necessary to heal. The body's not wanting to hurt us. Like every living creature in nature, the body only wants to survive and even thrive. Proper food combining is very important and you can obtain this document as well inside the raw reset. The link to join is below. You want to alleviate the body in the way of optimizing digestion. By doing so, you free up so much of the body's energy so that it can go to healing the root cause of these symptoms where it would normally be going to digestion. This is also why fasting, intermittent fasting can be very beneficial. Check out the levels of detox document as well and see if you want to explore with some fasting or even fruit feasting. You know, maybe three days on solely fruit or even 10 days or longer is perfectly safe and desirable and highly recommended to really free up this energy, this healing power of the body. I often tell my members that it's very important to learn how to actually eat for the long term. So these fasts, these fruit feasts are wonderful, these juice feasts even are wonderful for deep, deep healing. However, we really need to learn how to make this a long term lifestyle, as I like to call it, it's a lifestyle of abundance and vitality. Raw foods and fruits are very important and I've made a lot of videos about fruits specifically and how they help you to heal naturally. The healthy raw food pyramid is definitely worth taking a look at. Eating high raw will be very supportive because cooked foods are quite acidifying. One might adopt a transition diet to learn how their body does with more and more raw foods. Long alkaline salt baths, full and foot baths are recommended on a daily basis to really alleviate and drain the entire organism from excess amounts of acids. If you're in the greater Toronto area and you'd like to try out my joy butter, which I make in my humble home out of cannabis and cacao butter, and it's infused with Reiki love and light. This has been proven to have a very positive effect for any inflammation of the skin. It, these cannabinoids work with the endocannabinoid system in our body and provide a lot of healing for the body and the mind. So far, many have reported my joy butter to be very effective for eczema as well as sleep and calming the mind. If you wanna dive deeper on your healing journey and you wanna explore all the benefits that regenerative healing and regenerative detoxification have for you, 
please feel free to check out my program, The Raw Reset. The link is below and or book me one on one for coaching and consulting. I'm always so happy to connect with you in this way. Lots of love.